Well, today we're having another RV issue. Well, uh, actually it's a repeat of the same issue that we've already had. We're not gonna do a video on that, but we are gonna do a video on RV warranties and are they worth it? So the issue that we've had back is, well, do you remember this? Well, that issue is back, and for the first time ever, we're going to try to use our extended RV warranty. <laughs> Keyword try. So we've already called a local tech who is actually staying in our park, yes. which is nice. Yes, no service fee. Very it's convenient. So yeah. he's going to come take a look at it here in about 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then um, I've already called our warranty company, and they said basically they won't cover the service charge for the tech to come out. Yes. But they will cover the repair yes. and all the parts and everything. And our deductible is only $100. Correct. So this potentially could end up only costing us $100 and a little bit of time. Yeah. As soon as the tech gets out here, diagnoses everything, we call RV Complete, which is the company that we're working with for our RV warranty. They authorize the work. We pay $100. Done. Everything's done. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> Now, I don't know what happened down here, but this thing is throwing sparks again when the bedroom air conditioner comes on, when the initial draw of power hits, it's throwing sparks out of this breaker again. Now, I replaced this breaker back when we were in Little Rock a few months ago, and we haven't had any issues for a long time, but it's back now. And so that's telling me that probably the bus bar that everything plugs into was damaged during that first breaker incident. Uh, it's not a breaker issue, it's a brand new breaker. So. Um, I don't want to mess around with it again or try to replace the bus bar myself just because well it's a lot of work there's a lot of intricate moving things going on in here and I just want a professional to do that that way if anything goes wrong it's all taken care of um, the other thing that was really scary is because of the issue with us going to help my mom and the passing of my stepfather uh, we've been over there a lot we haven't been at the RV a lot and uh, so that's scary because we're in Florida in the summertime so the air conditioners are running non-stop so that one is constantly cycling on and off had we not been around here to hear this we came back for a couple of days had we not been around to hear this little zapping noise again we might have come back to a pile of ashes so that is very scary and that's another reason that i want someone else to take a look at this someone else to do this that way if it comes back and there's an issue i can go directly back to that rv tech or to our warranty company and say hey look um, this is a continuing issue and maybe it goes deeper than just this but hopefully after uh, the rv tech comes out today we'll be all fixed up and we'll let you know whether the uh, rv warranty is actually worth the purchase or not well, this is where we're at right now. The tech has been here, has diagnosed that the bus bar is probably the major issue. This is what it looks like right now in there with everything disconnected. And I will show you the, the bus bar. That guy is fried. Hopefully, that's the extent of the issue. He's on the phone right now with our warranty company, talking about what all they need to get everything done and approved and all that stuff. And then he'll be back in here, hopefully, to fix this up. No parts. Nope, gotta order them. But it looks like the warranty process is gonna work out yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. So you got problem. that, the part is on order. We leave here on Tuesday, hopefully it'll be here before we're gone, but we're going only about an hour from here. Yeah. And he said he could come over there. Yeah, he said he would love to come out there, actually. Need be. <laughs> so it's gonna be probably several days for us to wait, but for you, it'll only be a few seconds. It got up to 95 but degrees in the, RV. in the RV while we were waiting on everything. He hooked the panel back up, and just cut that one breaker off. Yeah. So we can't use the air conditioner in the bedroom. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. But we can use the other two. That's yeah. what's great about Alliance. Yes. Three air conditioners, so we can still use two. We'll just have to run a fan at night yeah. in the bedroom. Had we only had two air conditioners and had to do without one in Florida heat like this. Oh, I'd be in a hotel. I'd be at the Marriott. Yeah, because <laughs> it would just wouldn't keep up. No. It would probably no. run in probably mid 80s in here no matter what you did during the day. Yeah. But it's down to 93 now on the thermometer up here. Scout's even panting a little bit, got his mouth open. Oh yeah, you know it's hot if Scout's panting. That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> if Scout's panting, it's hot. And I apologize for the air conditioner noise up here, but I'm not turning I'm it not, off. No, I'm staying <laughs> under it. It feels phenomenal. <laughs> so give us a few seconds, a few days for us, a few seconds for you, and we'll let you know how it turns out. Yep. Well, we're back home to the RV. We went to mom's for a few days, yep. and now we're back. We were hoping that the part would be in. Was not. 
Yeah, we, and we were hoping it would be here today, so we get it fixed today, which is Saturday. Yeah. It's been three days since we had the initial issue again. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be about four more days, mm -hmm. which really sucks because it gets so hot here in Florida that we may not be able to sleep upstairs. I could sleep upstairs. You could not sleep upstairs. It's so hot. It's, well, during the day, yeah. Not at night. We haven't looked at it at night yet. We're going to figure it out. Man, I hope that we can sleep up there because... I think with a fan, it's fine. One of the things that we really look forward to doing is sleeping on our bed when we come back from my mom's. <laughs> yes. Very much so. Yeah. Futon just ain't cutting it. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that um, because we love our mattress. We've been on our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for about four months now. Yes. And we're loving it. Love it. Thank you to our friends from RV Mattress by Brooklyn yeah. Bedding for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If you want to save 20% on your next mattress, look down in the description below. There's a link there for you. And use the promo code and we will save you 20%. Yeah. Free shipping? Yep. That's always good. It's always good. 120 day sleep trial. So if you don't like it, you can send it back. Right. We've even had uh, viewers who have, who have given us their stories about that. Yeah. They got the style that didn't fit them well or the size that didn't fit them well. They contacted RV Mattress yeah. and no questions asked. Send them a new new mattress. Yep, right away. No problem at all. No problem. Um, made in the USA, yeah. which is always good. Yeah. Regardless of whether we can sleep on it tonight, I'm sleeping on my pillow. <laughs> yeah, I'm we're definitely using, using my, the pillow. My birthday pillow. So worst case, we'll have to pull this thing out and we don't want to do that but no i really don't because it's scout's spot he gives us a side eye this thing he guy. don't like you messing with his couch he wants his couch and if we sleep on it and then we get up and go out for the day yeah. he's gonna want the couch the way it was and i don't want to do that dance either plus it's just the whole production man it's a production i don't want to do it hopefully they get cool enough at night we'll let you know how that works out and then when the park comes in well, let's know but the thing is we're moving tuesday part one you're going to get into wednesday or thursday correct so uh the tech who is out here is going to have to drive out to about an hour from here where we're moving to uh, but he said no problem he, said that's he fine. could do it but we did get the end the um we got the estimate and it, had we not had our insurance it this thing costly was going to cost us Good about Lord. 930 bucks which it's only going to cost us our 100 dollars deductible yeah so Thank you, warranty. Yeah. <laughs> it's working out so good so far. As long as this thing can get fixed up. Yeah. And we'll see. But, um, I said it was only going to be a few seconds for you, and I lied. Be a few more seconds. Because I had to watch this segment. <laughs> well, now you only got to wait a few more seconds to hear the ending. Yeah. Well, the electrical issues are all fixed up. Good to go. It's actually an easy fix, Plus. but... It just took some time to get the part in yeah. and get it installed. Mm -hmm. um, Charles from CS Mobile RV Repair was awesome. Very cool guy. Very responsive, very professional, cut to the chase. Quick. And I didn't feel like he was dripping us off. No. <laughs> I mean, we do very have the warranty. Very knowledgeable. War yeah, we do have the warranty anyway. So we weren't gonna get ripped off anyway. It was uh, only well, gonna be a no. hundred bucks for us anyway. But um, so back to the question that we first started the video with is, is it worth it to have an extended warranty on your RV? What do you think? Absolutely. I think yes. I think it depends on the type of warranty you have. I was just have. getting ready to say that. <laughs> it depends on what type of warranty you have. And the warranty we that we have one. with RV Complete is awesome. Yes. They cover a bunch Everything. of stuff. A lot of the extended warranties you get will only cover a limited amount of stuff. And Parts only. they'll do their best to find a way around paying for anything. So our, our warranty is worth it. Yes. So um, we'll leave a link in the description to RV Complete if you want to see what all locations that they uh, service yeah. for their warranties. Because it's only certain dealers exactly. that deal with RV Complete. So mm -hmm. hopefully you're dealing with a company that deals with RV Complete because it's a good warranty. Yes. Um, we will also um, leave some information down there for CS Mobile RV Repair. Uh, yeah. He moves around. He's a full-timer, too, so yeah. I don't know where you're going to catch him at. Yeah. But if he's around where you're at, he's definitely worth calling if you have an issue. Absolutely. Great guy. I'm glad we got fixed up. Yep. I'm glad we didn't burn down. <laughs> it's always a plus. And it happened faster than we thought. 
and yeah, for cheaper faster. than we thought. Yeah. So here's the deal. We spent $5,000 on our extended warranty. Yes, for five years. We've only used it one time. It has now saved us $828. However, we got four more years left on that. Yeah. And even if we do trade in the RV, you it's can cash out. You can either transfer it or you can cash it out. Yeah. I would just cash it out and let somebody else buy their own warranty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're not going to get anybody to pay you any extra for your well, RV for the warranty. So you yeah. might as well cash it out. But it's good to have that option. Mm -hmm. Anyway, worked out good for us. Sure Leave us a comment and let us know what your experience is with your RV warranty and whether you think it's worth it or not. Stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen service member. If you want to mm -hmm. get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you needed to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.